who is Judas in the Bible, the man, the myth, and the betrayal. Dive deep into biblical history to unravel the intricate narrative around Judas Iscariot. Who is Judas in the Bible? Is not a simple question. Learn about his life, his actions, and the lasting impact of his infamous betrayal. When it comes to biblical characters that have captured the collective imagination, few are as enigmatic and controversial as Judas Iscariot. Who is Judas in the Bible? If you're familiar with the New Testament, you'll know him as one of the Twelve Apostles, the man who infamously betrayed Jesus Christ for 30 pieces of silver. But who was Judas, truly, beyond his actions? This article seeks to paint a comprehensive picture of this deeply human figure, exploring his motivations, his actions, and his legacy. Who is Judas in the Bible? Judas Iscariot was one of the twelve original disciples of Jesus Christ, as depicted in the New Testament of the Bible. He is most known for his betrayal of Jesus to the Roman authorities, which set in motion the events leading to Jesus' crucifixion. Despite being a close follower and trusted member of Jesus' circle, Judas, driven by avarice, agreed to betray Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. This act of betrayal has since made his name synonymous with traitors and turncoats. Ultimately, racked with guilt, Judas returned the money and hanged himself, as per the narrative in the Gospel of Matthew. His role in the biblical narrative serves as a potent lesson on the destructive power of greed and betrayal. The apostolic calling of Judas Iscariot who was Judas before he met Jesus? Unfortunately, the Bible offers little information on Judas Iscariot's life before he became an apostle. His surname, Iscariot, suggests a connection with the town of Kerioth in southern Judea. However, this speculation opens another set of questions. Was Judas the only non-Galilean among the apostles? And did this alienation play a part in his infamous act? Judas Iscariot, prior to becoming a disciple of Jesus Christ, is a somewhat elusive figure as the Bible does not provide extensive details about his life before he met Jesus. It is known that his surname, Iscariot, is likely a reference to the town of Kerioth, implying that he might have been from this locale in southern Judea. This would have made him the only one among the twelve disciples not from Galilee. Besides these geographical details, the specifics of Judas's early life, his family background, his occupation, or the circumstances under which he came to follow Jesus are not explicitly outlined in the New Testament. This lack of biographical detail is typical for many biblical figures and reflects the text's focus on spiritual, rather than biographical, matters. 1. Joining the band of disciples when Jesus began his ministry, he chose 12 men to be his closest companions and learners, among them Judas Iscariot. The Bible doesn't detail why Jesus chose Judas, leaving us to wonder, did Jesus see something special in him, or did he already foresee the betrayal? 2. Judas Iscariot, the treasurer of the group keeper of the money bag The Gospel of John mentions that Judas was the keeper of the group's money. How did this role influence his relationship with the other disciples and his perspective on their mission? Could his financial responsibilities have played a role in his later actions? Accusations of theft John's Gospel accuses Judas of stealing from the money bag. Does this suggest that Judas was motivated by greed, or is there a more complex explanation? This paints a picture of Judas as a flawed individual, making him a relatable, if not particularly admirable, character. 3. The betrayal of Jesus. The act that defined Judas the motivation for betrayal the gospel suggests different motivations for Judas's betrayal. Matthew's gospel hints at financial gain, while John suggests it was Satan's influence. However, some scholars believe that Judas might have been disillusioned with Jesus' peaceful approach, hoping to force a confrontation with the Romans. Understanding Judas's motivations can help us better answer the question, who is Judas in the Bible? The act of betrayal the act itself, Judas identifying Jesus to the authorities with a kiss, is one of the most dramatic moments in the New Testament. This event has been immortalized in art and literature, reinforcing Judas's image as the archetypal traitor. 4. The aftermath of the betrayal the death of Judas after betraying Jesus, Judas experiences remorse and returns the silver coins. His death is shrouded in controversy, with Matthew and Acts offering different accounts. Did he hang himself, as described in Matthew, or did he die in a field, as recounted in Acts? Judas in the afterlife The question of Judas's fate in the afterlife has provoked heated debate among theologians. Is Judas eternally damned for his betrayal, or can he receive divine forgiveness? This theological question reveals different understandings of justice, grace, and divine mercy. Major events in Judas' life Sure, here's a table with some of the major events involving Judas Iscariot, one of Jesus' original twelve apostles who famously betrayed him, according to the New Testament. Event details call to apostleship Judas Iscariot was one of the twelve disciples personally chosen by Jesus to follow him and learn from his teachings. Matthew 10 1-4. Keeper of the money Judas was appointed as the keeper of the money for the group, a role that showed a level of trust and perhaps a nod to his administrative skills. John 12 6. Objection to extravagant worship when a woman anointed Jesus with expensive perfume, Judas objected, ostensibly on the grounds that the money could have been given to the poor. However, 
the Gospel of John states that Judas was also stealing from the disciples' money bag, John 12 4-6. Betrayal agreement Judas made an agreement with the chief priest to betray Jesus in exchange for 30 pieces of silver, a significant event leading to Jesus' crucifixion. Matthew 26 14-16. The Last Supper at the Last Supper, Jesus predicted his betrayal by one of the twelve. Judas, already planning the betrayal, asked, Surely you don't mean me, Rabbi? Matthew 26 20-25. Betrayal in Gethsemane Judas betrayed Jesus to the Roman soldiers by identifying him with a kiss, which led directly to Jesus' arrest, Matthew 26 47-50. Remorse and death overwhelmed by remorse, Judas returned the silver and hanged himself, unable to bear the weight of his actions, Matthew 27 3-5. Father, Grandfather, Minister, Missionary, Deacon, Elder, Author, Welcome to our family, you all posts.